There's a new kind of telehealth that's being offered these days. It's virtual physical therapy. And one report just out this month found it's just as effective as in-person sessions. Our health and wellness reporter Lauren Petty shows us exactly how it works. Are you on a laptop, Jana? Physical therapist Matthew Hatzel. Tip the screen down just a little bit more. Here's it all the time. The common question is, how do you know anything without putting your hands on someone. But this is an example of a virtual therapy session offered to Jana Rowe to treat a painful bulging disc. I was skeptical at first um, because I've only done it in person, um, but it ended up to be the best experience. Jana lives in Sycamore and was one of the first patients to enroll in Northwestern Medicine's telehealth physical therapy program. I gained so much insight and he helped me through the exercises and he was watching me the whole entire time. You know, I moved my computer to the floor so he could see what I was doing. The underpinning of a lot of treatments is exercise. Exercise, education, advocacy so we can provide all those things virtually. In addition to strengthening weak muscles and treating a variety of aches and pains, offering virtual physical therapy sessions can often mean more access for some patients. We serve a very broad geography. Not everybody has transportation, first of all. So yes, access is definitely enhanced by this. A new report out this month analyzed three different types of virtual therapy and found, quote, physical therapist guided solutions can be an effective alternative to in-person PT and have the potential to reduce health care spending. I didn't have to wait. Like you said, I didn't have to drive anywhere. He was there. Um, we just, it was really, you know, I liked that one-on-one. -on -one. Evaluations are available for all ages. The oldest individual I've seen through this platform has been 87. And patients can be referred to in-person PT if needed. No pain. Pain-free after her sessions, John is glad she didn't give in to her doubts. Well, unless you try it, you're never going to know. I was skeptical too, but this is the only route I would ever do it again. Let's turn Lauren Petty, NBC5 News.